Ah, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you've all been having a really good time with the last videos that I've been making. I've been trying to upload like every two days and it's been becoming pretty easy. Um, I just have to keep doing it. Um, September's gonna be the month. We're gonna be like smashing out the videos. We're gonna be doing power cruise tomorrow. Um, did all Aussie day. Yeah, it's been a really good month. But today is gonna be something really cool. Um, I have actually picked up one of these. Um, my friend Blake, um, which you guys all know from the videos for giving me like so much stuff. Um, he's actually sent me out, uh, well he didn't send me out, he actually couldn't fit this one to his own car. Um, which is a black coolant tank uh, by Aeroflow. Um, so, this is not a sponsored video because it was from my friend and I paid good money for this. Um, well I haven't yet, but I will be. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically this like is a is one of the best kind of like aftermarket coolant tanks for the car and obviously being black it looks so much better than the horrible than the horrible thing that's in there and um, Yeah, should be really cool and should be a really nice upgrade in my engine bay. So uh, Today we're gonna be doing a full service which we're gonna be doing a uh, oil flush and a coolant flush as well um, So we will be doing that today. We will be installing this um, the Aeroflow coolant tank. I don't even know how to... It's so tight. That's what she said. Okay, let's install this. So this is the stuff we're going to be using for the service. Um, I got a whole lot of Nulon um, high-tech fast-flowing 10W40. Um, I've also got a whole heap of premix coolant. Um, the reason I went with this coolant was because I actually didn't know whether I should have been getting a certain type of coolant and I kind of just went to super cheap and kind of just went Eh, whatever, it will all kind of work. So this one here is rated up to, I believe, about 128 degrees anti-boil. Um, so that shouldn't be an issue for me, especially when I'm out on the track and all that sort of stuff. It normally only sits around halfway, which I believe is well under 120 degrees. So I shouldn't have an issue there. Um, and then I've also got uh, this right here, which is a uh, radiator flush and clean. And then I've also got this right here, which is a, I believe it's a brand new one from Ryko, um, but it's kind of like a high efficiency synthetic uh, oil filter. It does say that you use about 1500Ks for a service, but I do mine every 5000. So um, I've actually never seen this before, but apparently it's, uh, apparently it's a little bit different to the last one that they had. Um, actually, it's kind of cool. It looks a lot bigger. I wonder if it still fits. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Alright, we'll find out. Alrighty, first step, we're going to be turning the car around, getting rid of Sarah's Corolla out on the driveway. Turn this car around because I don't want all this coolant. I want to sort of be over the driveway when I have to do that because the thing that I'm going to be catching it in is this big container here. And apparently it does get very messy when you start doing this sort of stuff as well. So we're going to quickly turn the car around, turn Sarah's car around, and uh, yeah, get started with this, uh, this mad service. I don't know why, but these driveways just kill my feet, especially when it's kind of like nice and cold in the morning. I don't know. I think my, my future driveway is going to have to just be pure concrete. It's horrible. Awesome. So the part that we're going to be replacing today is this right here. This is the uh, standard coolant tank. And as you can see, over time, they like they start to build up all of this calcium on the side of the can up side of the tank yeah, it just looks horrible so um yeah we are basically going to be replacing that part out with a nice brand new black piece i'm also going to tidy up the engine bay today because it definitely does need a little bit of a cleanup as you can see like there's just so much dust flying on top of that um give the car rest of a clean and also change the oil and uh yeah this thing will be ready to rip also if you guys remember that uh that awesome piece of uh rubber that we just put around that side there um yeah it's definitely holding up really well and it's uh, definitely working 
And after like months of using this camera, I finally found out where the two microphone spots are. And they're literally set up just above the lens up there. So I'm sorry that all the videos so far have been really badly wind affected. I'm gonna have to order some of that like dead cat stuff and put it across the microphones because um, yeah, I didn't actually realize where they were, but now that I do, I'm so happy because now I can finally film in relation to where the microphones are. Ooh, go Zach. Mr. Buddy, I passed a film course at JMC. I don't know where your microphones are on a camera. So this is the first time I've jacked up the car since I've had the tune and the new cat installed. But look at that. My cat turned from like silver to like a brassy color. That looks so mad. <laughs> it's like it's heat treated. That's mad. Now first thing I think I want to do is the coolant. Um, simply because... I don't know, but let's do the coolant first because I kind of want to get this new part in, see how it, uh, see how it goes. But uh, yeah. Okay, so I've just taken the uh, the massive big under tray off, and uh, if you can see up here, there's like a little white bung right here. Mine was already kind of loose, but if you just loosen that really carefully, all the coolant. Comes out rid of that little hole right there. How mad's that? It's looking a bit brown too. Gross. There we go. That sounds like it's making a mess now. Oh yeah, we definitely did. Cooling everywhere. So good, we're catching it. We're all good boys. Hell yeah. Oh, and also just letting you guys know, I did actually run the coolant flush through the car. I completely forgot to film it, so that's why I was like taking it out. I like put it in the coolant tank, and then I swapped all the cars around and just left it running for a little bit. But I did do it. So if you guys got a comment down there saying I didn't, I did. I swear. The next step is installing our, uh, our LO coolant tank. This should be a very, very, very straightforward process. Um, so it's just those two bolts there and then it kind of unclips at the bottom. Uh, take off this right here. Why is it all wet at the top? Take off this right here, take off this right here. And then, uh, yeah, basically plumb that in, plumb this in and uh, fill that one back up. So I'm just gonna let this keep, uh, keep dribbling out here when it needs to. All the coolant's now in there. And then, uh, yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna quickly do this. Two 10 mils, get the job done fairly easily. Perfect, then that whole thing comes out. Alrighty, so. Um, with these two coolant tanks right here, you might notice there's a couple of slight differences, um, which we all have right here. So this one here, basically, it's held in by this little tiny like brace that's down the bottom here. Um, this one here uh, comes with like this little tiny, this little tiny black piece right here, which we have to attach underneath, and then we also have to attach the fittings to the front of it as well. So I'm going to quickly do all of them, and then uh, then we should be good to go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to tighten this little tiny piece up and also this front piece. Um, but that's all sorted and that's ready to go back in the car. So let's go and let's go do that. Sarah's up! Oh, look how cute she is! I love you. Zoomy zoom. I'm oh. not zooming. Oh, gotta come out in here, don't I? Sorry, do I'm gonna go get your shoes out of the car? No, I'm fine. Alright, so this. Just goes in there. That fits up a little bit better. Yeah, that fits up way nicer. Mm -hmm. Is it recording? Yeah, it's been recording the whole time. Yeah, that's all right. So I just found that um, this little prong here um, has to sit on the inside because uh, otherwise it doesn't sit right. So if you guys are doing this, that's what you need to do. Oh, by the way, Max, if you're watching this, I found your little things uh, after cleaning up my uh, all those little things. So. If you want to come over, mate, I could have given to you last night. 
But if you want to come over. I don't think the video is going to be up before he's going to come over. You don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a whole lot nicer. I feel like everything is done now. It's all, all black or all breeze or, all, you know, it's all a colour. <laughs> We're getting there. I got this to go. And the ECU cover and the battery. Why don't they come like nice? I'm confused. Why don't they come nice? Yeah. Because. It's the, cheaper. What's that? It's cheaper. Yes, that's correct. Put this down here. Alright, so that goes on there. Perfect. Radio. So now that's all installed. We can have breakfast. It's just sitting there. Okay, that's all tight. And that's all tight there. Sweet. Now we've got to uh, have breakfast. Close the Close the plug and fill her up. Yeah. Okay. That's definitely solid. How does that come out? I'll work this out. <laughs> So the coolant in this car actually looks like it was in really good condition. It is a little bit brown, however, it's predominantly green, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I've just quickly fitted the drain plug back up, and then now I'm going to start filling up the coolant through here and uh, cycling it through the system, and then I'll turn the car on, bleed it, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so I screwed up. Uh, I got coolant concentrate, and I got absolutely no distilled water to go with it. So I'm going to have to go and get some uh, distilled water. Um, from super cheap, but lucky we're going to the shops today, so that's no worries at all. Now I just have so much coolant, it's crazy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do the oil, um, because that's the only other thing I can do today, so let's do that real quick. That black coolant tank makes the engine bay look so much cleaner. I absolutely love it. So, another company that I'm really hoping to work with very soon is called DC Engineering. Um, he's developing a couple of designs for the uh, coil cover, as well as the uh, power steering reservoir, the brake, uh, master cylinder reservoir, and then also for the ECU cover, and then I'll just wrap the top of the battery black or something like that. And that should completely finish off the engine bay for how I like it. Um, but as for now, the uh, the oil actually looks like a really nice golden colour, so there's nothing really to stress about that. And there's also uh, nothing, like there was no chunks coming out of it, which is also a massive bonus. Um, it's brand new, filled up, filled up with some 10W40 uh, fully synthetic Newlin oil. And uh, she will be getting some coolant very soon. Um, apart from that, uh, let's go to the shops. Alright, so me and Sarah just got back from the shops. Um, and we bought a whole lot of stuff. I completely like... Redid my room. If you guys can see, we like we went all out getting like all new bed sheets and stuff like that. We also got these two massive prints we actually bought for each other um, on our anniversary, which was a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, we ended up getting her little cactus thing and then my car thing as well, which kind of have like the same sort of vibes that she wants to put in her room. Still need to like get rid of this thing here and um, sort of do two bedside tables. But apart from that, bedroom's pretty much done. Um, I got a massive frame because I bought the Mighty Car Mods poster as well. So now hopefully the study should look pretty cool once she's all done. So we've fitted the coolant tank, we've fitted everything we need to. Um, so, oh hello. So now all we have to do is fill it with coolant. Now if you guys remember from this morning, I bought 10 litres of... Coolant, because Zach's... 10 litres of coolant concentrate. Because Zach's an idiot. Because Zach's an idiot. So I went out and bought some distilled water. Oh, demineralized water, sorry. So now we're just going to mix it 50 50. I'm just going to put one 5 liter in, about, about 5 liters. And I'm going to put 5 liters of the demineralized water, see what the levels are like. And then, uh, then we'll chuck some more in. Mm. Sounds good, eh? Sounds good. Sweet, she's going, mate. She is going. She is going, mate. She is. So I'm going to put, what's it? Are you are you capable of this? Yeah. 
And I wonder why they made it child proof just for you. Yeah. Because people like, like me shouldn't be doing this to my car. Yes. In before people go, ooh, you should have done it this way. Yeah, I know. You should have poured the coolant in this way. Delicious. Oh, look out. We're burping. Oh. Oh, ripperoni pizza. He had one job. I was trying not to get it all the way down in the hole, mate. One job. You never want to go straight down. You want to play around with it a little bit. You know, just warm her up, mate, you know? I just want to grab that stuff, stuff off the top. She's gold, mate. She's gold. So ten and a half litres for an FG, they reckon. There you go, eh? This literally sounds like a never-ending um. <laughs> cool and yeah. a tank. I have one more later. Fuck me. She drinks. She drinks, mate. Healthy juice. Yeah, it literally looks like the juice we were drinking. Just yeah. Before. Bloody hell. G called me a twit this morning. Oh, did he? Because I told him I bought. To, um, told him I bought 10 litres of concentrate and he's like, you twit. Well, you are a twit. Never heard such vile things come out of Gene's mouth. Well, we should be used to that by now. Supply him with the wrong, wrong parts. <laughs> wrong parts all the time. Hey, you've learned to zoom in, mate. How good's that? Yeah. yeah good's the that. wrong parts <laughs> and it has to have Max's cab services help him out. That's it, maybe. Now this is demineralized water. Do not drink this at home. That's it. Sounds so weird. Insert montage from here. She's still good. What are we doing? Oh, montage. <laughs> <laughs> We're pouring demineralized water in. Oh no, they're losing it. Oh, she's, oh shit. she's a squirter. We've lost it, mate. Whoa. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I think we've uh, need to turn the car on, I think. Do I quickly turn the car on? Sure. Oh, wait. Where's, where's the, the keys? keys? Oh, fuck me. Where's the keys? I don't know. I had them. Do you want to get demonetized? No, you're right. Keep filming. You're good? You're filming? Where's the keys? They're right here. I got them. Oh. All right, ready? Go quickly. I'm just going to suffer that through. You like my little spinny boy, mate? Spinny boy. You like my spinny, spinny boy? Or rather a wanny boy. <laughs> so the coolant, if you guys can see, looks like it's just almost at the top right there. So what I'm gonna do, it's still kind of like bleeding through. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly uh, let it sort of heat up, which is almost uh, at its temperature right now. Um, yeah, so it should almost be at the right temp. Cool. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the cap off. That should uh, hopefully make it so that I'm not over-pressurizing this at all. Um, should hopefully make it that I'm not over-pressurizing my coolant at all. And then once that sort of cools down, I'll put the cap back on and that will be my pressurized system. So that's pretty cool. Um, apart from that, yeah. So normally you use about 10 and a half litres 
for an FG, which is what everyone else has said. But I ended up using about five liters of the concentrate and then about four liters of the uh, demineralized water. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, sort of, sort of sitting up just around the top at the moment, but. Definitely uh, starts and sounds a lot healthier than, ooh. Starts and sounds a lot healthier than before I did my service, so. Just wish my buddy gearbox was the same, mate. Unfortunately. Looks nice like that now, I love it, yeah. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Everything's all tightened up, everything's looking all sweet. Car came up to temp really nicely. Engine thing, the thingy thing back on. Uh, you mean um, cool and tank? yeah, that's that's it. That's it, mate. That's it, mate. So yeah, she's back. And then uh, yeah, this is the other thing we had to do. We had to go get one of these little bungs as well. Basically, that stops because uh, I believe the BAs of the BFs have a uh, have two lines that come out. Um, so you pretty much just have to block that one off, and then you're all sweet. Um, so yeah, usually that goes to a. Um, probably saying stuff really wrong right now. Usually it goes to a second coolant tank, doesn't it? Not an yeah, overflow. It goes to an overflow. An overflow, right. Yeah. So this is a coolant reservoir, and then it goes to an overflow. So like if someone had an overflow set up here, you could route that around to there, all that sort of stuff as well. But um, obviously I'm not doing that. So, that's all done. She's serviced. Yep. Ready for another 5,000 Ks. With a slipping gearbox. Mate, can you not? That's why you buy a manual. Third pedals, keep the manuals alive, save the manuals. That's a bit rude, mate. I'll save you, mate. She's not even in focus. What was that? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. No, no, she's done. She's done. Awesome, so all the mess is cleaned up. Everything else is done. So, I don't know what else to do. I mean, like, I could clean up the rest of the stuff, but I don't really want to. So anyway, we're just going to go upstairs and enjoy the afternoon. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching the video. I really appreciate it. This was my first ever coolant change in an FG, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys all really enjoy the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and do all that sort of stuff as well. Max is cleaning up me mess, so thanks, mate. You're a legend. And, uh... Yeah, hope you all really enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one, which will be the biggest one, the Power Cruise, uh, September. September, isn't it? Yes. Yes, September Power Cruise. Get ready, it's going to be a big one. We've got a couple of really cool cars we're going in. So, uh, yeah, see you all later. Peace out.